Nope, that's not good. That's not, see, see now, I said contextualize this in a way that makes you seem normal. That's still. All right, let's hear from our Zoomer correspondent on this Colleen situation. Everybody and welcome back. It's your favorite drama journalist here to cover the news that you don't want to see by yourself. So I was just working on a second channel video on this crazy like reborn dolls drama that's going on and i was so excited to make it i've been typing up a storm on it i was gonna put it out today but my friend max texted me and was like you gotta watch this colleen video that she just put out like an hour ago on the dot like it came out like just an hour ago it's 10 minutes it says hi and it is uh it seems like it's the apology we've been waiting for and I am surprised that it's here because I didn't think I'd be talking about it again this soon. But um, yeah, this is a big one. So I, I say let's just jump into it. If you haven't watched my video on Colleen, long story short, um, she has a lot of allegations of grooming in the past few years from uh, past fans of hers who are underaged and um, has done a lot more in her past career that has raised a lot of questions recently and she has been on a tour for miranda sings her character or whatever but she has not been responding to any of this i never first and foremost uh outside like i i didn't really understand a lot of the og youtube right whether it be like what is it the onion guy on on Nision? That was always, like, weird to me. Uh, Shane Dawson, I didn't really get. And this lady was another one that I was just like, what the fuck? Who's watching this? Like, I don't really understand. It. She's the one who, like, puts on makeup and, like, speaks weird, right? And, like, sings and stuff, but, like, horribly. Let me see. From random Mondays because you guys are begging for it and forcing me to do this. So here we go. I hope you better appreciate it. Um, but let's get started. Mary Nancy Bunny said, "This is a fake of a sick women." Yeah, I don't really fucking get it. Like, uh. It's so wild that outside of like, I mean, someone in the chat just said this too, but it's weird to see like in the context of like all the other like big ass old YouTubers like PewDiePie and KSI almost clear. KSI definitely clears, but even fucking PewDiePie almost clears uh, like 90% of old YouTube. You know what I mean? At least like, yeah, he had a fucking uh, political... Uh, he had a political radicalization moment, but like, you know, he's a wife and a child and he just keeps to himself. You know what I mean? Instead of like all this other shit. Markiplier cleared all of them. Yeah, that too. So I never understood what the fuck was going on with this shit. Uh, and I think like there were allegations that she was uh, grooming children. And basically her fandom turned on her because they were like oh shit like we've been groomed uh and then she came out with a video apologizing for it anyway let's Quite keep going yeah up until now so i i say let's just jump into it let's do it um if you want to keep up on the drama want to keep up on the news you can subscribe to me here down when did white start using the term clears get with the program okay made me called being a culture vulture are you new here are you new to living in the united states of america we steal everything Let's down below going. i also have a channel that i will be uploading to later today i upload about every day posted a new video yesterday you can check up some of the extra stuff going on there let's watch it i'm too excited No, 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 no way. No, not a react Andy. Come on. I thought he was going to give us like the breakdown of, of like what she actually did. 
Okay, I need to see a breakdown. Okay, I need to see like an actual breakdown because I want to know what she did and what the allegations were. He has another video. The breakdown is in the previous video, bro. Okay, we'll look at the breakdown of the previous video. I'm already doing React Randall shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm already fucking React Randalling. Uh, let's see. TikTok stand up. Big trouble streamers won't stop arguing by kick. Damn, his shit's popping out. His shit, dude, his shit is popping off, dude. Look at this. TikTok stand up comedians, big trouble. Streamers won't stop arguing about kick. Internet obsessed with this missing submarine. Twitter just exposed the worst online creep, Dev Lemons. The idol keeps getting worse. Colleen Ballinger is running out of excuses. Hey, everyone. We're back. Happy Monday. Today, we're going to talk about the Colleen Ballinger controversy. Okay. I touch on our basically a okay. subreddit calling her out for her hypocrisy and bigotry and creepy behavior. Colleen is, of course, the person behind the YouTuber personality Miranda Sings, which was very popular when I was younger. Um, I personally wasn't June. a fan of hers back then or now. Okay, listen, I'm not watching H3's PowerPoint. Everything chat. going on with Colleen Ballinger right now, aka Miranda Sings. And keep in mind, with this, there is a lot going on. I'm trying to condense and make this. H did a whole segment very thorough. Yeah, it's an hour and 21 minutes long, brother. That's crazy. It's consumable, so I'm going to be linking to sources down below, not only with like, uh, you know, media pieces, but also online videos. I think H3 Podcast did a great video on them. But we're talking about this because accusations online have been mounting for weeks, coming from every corner of the internet, and it seems like it's hit a boiling point. Right among the several pieces that have now been published, you had Rolling Stone publishing a massive one. So we're going to talk about that, and then some of the other stuff has been coming from social media. And the gist of this is that Colleen's being accused of bullying, abusing, and manipulating her fans, most of whom were underage via a pattern of inappropriate behavior. And if this sounds familiar, it's because this is not the first time that she's dealt with these allegations, right? Back in 2020, Adam McIntyre made a video accusing Colleen of toxic and inappropriate actions. And he's actually at the center of this latest round as well. With Adam posting several videos over the last couple of weeks outlining Colleen's indiscretions, saying that Colleen had a group chat with roughly two dozen fans, most of whom were young teenagers. And in that chat, she would ask inappropriate questions. With Rolling Stone reviewing some of those messages, which included questions about sex and if they had lost their virginity. And on Twitter, you can see even more examples of this with Adam posting a video Colleen allegedly sent a her inserting a tampon in her mouth and then asking her fans to send a video of them doing the same thing. With Adam saying she would talk to him about her sex life as well as Trisha Paytas's nudes, all while she was 30 and he was 14, 15. And in his videos, Adam said that Colleen would just generally- Yo, what the fuck? Okay, that's jailable, right? Some of this has got to be jailable. Is this not jailable? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? No, no, dude. What the fuck? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, gross, dude. What? Okay. Oh, oh my God. Delete YouTube. Really overshare about her personal life and then make Adam get involved, saying that he felt that she used him. This is what she used me for. She would love bomb me, make me feel like I had a friend pretend to care about me, and I would just have to do all of her dirty work for her. With all this, you had tons and tons of people speaking out against her, some saying Colleen would bully and mock her biggest fans behind their backs. Adam backing this up, saying she would do this with him. And this was a common theme where we would find someone in the fandom that was doing something bizarre, and we would it would become an inside joke where we'd make fun of them. On top of that, there were also claims about how she would turn her fans into employees only to pay them very little and exploit their labor. With one person writing that people in her circle made working on her shows a living hell. And apparently Wait. She was... Wait, she was making her fans work like what does that mean like she was <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> bro bro youtubers youtubers went from grooming to child labor dude that's fucking crazy Yo, she said child labor. She's doing child labor. That's crazy. Okay. That's at a certain point you gotta you gotta <laughs> you gotta sit back, take a deep breath, and go, God damn, you know? Isn't that what you do? Yeah, me. I'm I'm famously I famously uh, exploit you guys by streaming eight hours a day. That's my exploitation. I force you to watch me at gunpoint.
Apparently that toxicity extended from behind the scenes to on stage as you had people resurfacing old clips where she repeatedly crossed the line during Miranda live shows. With people also describing the bit saying she brought minors on stage, exploited them. In one case, she had a child reach into her pants to grab cheese balls. There was also another one that got a ton of attention where she had a teenage fan. Wait, what? Robert Downey Jr. exploits me every time I the Iron Man. Come on, she had a child reach into Wait. her pants to grab cheese balls. There was also another one that got a ton of attention where she had a teenage fan come on stage to do a bit about yoga, and there she stretched the fan's legs open in front of everyone. With a person actually also making a TikTok about how exploited she felt by all that, saying she felt incredibly exposed on stage, worried about some of her fans had access to her Twitter account and put out tweets for her. One of her fans' uh, tweets actually got her canceled for homophobia. When they were queer baiting, saying they were coming out as a Megan Trainer fan, weird shit, dude. What people could see of her since her outfit. Wait, saying you're coming out as a Megan Trainer fan is queer baiting? What the fuck are Zoomers on, dude? What do you? What do you? What? Okay, that's like Hassan's voice shatters by saying, "Go to the gym and work out." Yeah, exactly. I'm doing a lot of child exploitation by telling people to be normal. Uh, and, uh, you know, watching political YouTube videos. If it didn't have full coverage of her body. So she felt essentially naked on stage, sexually violated because she felt her body had been exploited for entertainment. And allegations of inappropriate behavior extending past Colleen and over to members of her team, with one fan telling Rolling Stone that Colleen's friend Corey mocked their weight at a meet and greet, with Colleen's brother Trent also being accused of complimenting a fan's look, saying things like, you would look good pregnant if you ever want children one day, as well as allegedly saying anything we talk about. Okay, that's jailable, right? It has to be, right? Like an adult saying that to a child? Am I... Is there laws around this? And if there isn't, why isn't there laws around that? There's got to be, right? You can't. This discourse is level three terminally online. What the fuck? What stays between you and I. And so with all that, you had Sasha Judd, an expert on fandom, telling Rolling Stone that these allegations shed light on how much emotional power stars can have, especially within their insulated fandom, and how even if nothing is technically illegal, it can still harm a young fan. Whenever there's an opportunity to actually be in contact with the object of your fandom, that's just sort of ripe for a really unbalanced power dynamic. Because the fan is nobody to the famous person, and the famous person is absolutely everybody to the fan. And that can produce some pretty giant red flags. And while speaking to Rolling Stone, Adam echoed that issue, noting that as a young fan, he was not looking for red flags. He was too thrilled to just have Bro, it's not even that they're fans. It's that they're young. Am I crazy? I feel like the fan is like, it makes it even worse. But it feels like when I look at a situation like that, I think like fandom is just like an access to an unlimited supply of children. Like that's what they're, they're utilizing uh, the, the fandom as. Like that's the, the main problem here is that they're children. That you're like, routinely talking to right that is what the fuck i mean that's that's just isn't that illegal i feel like that should be illegal am i crazy she shouldn't be communicating with anyone under 18 on her phone that's weird like I mean, obviously, if she has, like, relatives or whatever, that's fine. <laughs> okay, maybe she shouldn't, even if it's her relatives, because uh, she should be in jail, probably, or especially her brother. Of Colleen's attention, and adding, I was looking at it like this golden opportunity of trust. And I, in the moment, really didn't care if it was morally right or wrong, because I was just grateful that she was talking to me and not anyone else. And as all of this has been coming out, Colleen has been losing subscribers and sponsorships, with ZocDoc telling Rolling Stone it would no longer run ads on her podcast. People also waiting for more creators to chime in, Trisha Paytas in particular, and that because Colleen actually hosts a podcast with Trisha, and one person alleged that Colleen used to host viewing parties to body shame and make fun of Trisha's OnlyFans content. But also, with all of this, it does appear that Colleen still does have fans 
fans on her side. In fact, some relentlessly so because Adam said that he's actually been harassed by her fans to the point where he's actually had to file police reports over the threats of violence, doxing, and swatting that he's been receiving. And Adam telling Rolling Stone that this harassment has been soul destroyed. And so with all these allegations, you've had tons of responses with people saying things like, don't get it twisted. The way that Colleen Ballinger treated her fans is so obscenely inappropriate and absolutely not the norm for any public figure, especially one with an audience of children. If this were a traditional child's entertainer, it would be nonstop headline news. Can you imagine if an adult Disney Channel star was in group chats with underage fans using them for free labor, telling them graphic details of their sex life, publicly posting sexually charged content targeted at kids, then going on tour and making kids mimic explicit acts. Now for her part, Colleen didn't respond to the Rolling Stones request for comment there. She also didn't respond to our request for comment. And so for now, we'll have to wait to see what else comes from this. She hasn't posted to YouTube since it started blowing up, though she did perform. Okay, well, she she did post the YouTube now. So that's where we're at. Um, so chat, to, to uh, you guys I ask, uh, did Philip uh, DeFranco basically cover this well, or should I go into a little bit deeper of a dive from uh, Nick is not green? Crazy, I was a fan of her as a minor over 10 years ago. a few days ago she was posting on social media with seemingly no criticism um but now things have gotten very up here let's take a look at her most recent instagram post and just see how people are currently feeling about her yeah top comment with her and her child address this situation you're making it worse justice for adam these comments are blowing my mind resorting to name calling and slurs really i would be blocking each and every one of you for commenting such gross things on a photo of a child so yeah you can tell that there's a little bit of fighting going on between people who are still with colleen and you know the mass amount of people who are calling her out for all of the shady things she has done in her past so let's jump into what it's all about if i miss any details comment below i respond to comments on basically every video i put out if i miss some smaller details let me know and i'll make sure to try to update the video as we go but of course there's so much coming out from so many different sides of the story that i'm going to try to cover it in a, in a way that isn't going to take me hours. So Colleen has been in controversy for a bit now, obviously, but the last time she was negatively in the public eye was just over three years ago when she put out an apology for multiple things that happened in the past on her YouTube, including some racially insensitive characters she was playing, some fat phobic jokes that she took part in, uh, an inappropriate relationship she had with a fan who was a minor, and this horrible clip of her talking about the way she treated a dog of hers when when she was a child all of okay 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 that went to like 11 different directions i feel like i don't know if this is like a youtuber thing but like like fat phobia is one thing and then inappropriate relations with a child like like what are we doing how are those in the same category why is she apologizing for the same and the same it's literally like guys i'm so sorry I said the R word. I was being ableist. I'm so sorry for the harm I caused. Also, I murdered someone in 1997 and the human remains are still in the basement of my childhood home. Sorry for that too, I guess. It's like, well, one, what the fuck? What, what do you, what do you mean? That's just like, it's like one is drama, right? Kind of, uh, Bro, Hassan, first, she's not actually apologizing to Lamau. You have not seen the video yet? Wait, what? All of these issues are really easy to find online, so I'm not going to touch on every problem from back then because there's countless people talking about it anyways. And these are just like, a lot of these are disturbing to look at and watch, and it's a very uncomfortable thing. But the reason why this apology was so interesting to me is because it was initially very positively received. People felt like Colleen was doing exactly what a YouTuber should do in an apology. You know, touch on everything in a blunt way that leaves no confusion about the shit you did and be confident that you're owning up to it. And your fans, a lot of the time, will buy it. It's not too hard to convert people who are already wanting to be on your side and to trick you. Yeah, uh, people said that the dog thing is like she pinched a dog so hard until the dog bit her, and then they had they had to put the dog down. ...them into thinking that you're still a good person to follow. This apology is a little bizarre, but unfortunately not rare for a lot of YouTubers who make their way through controversy. But watching it back years later, especially with all the accusations she's receiving, it seems a little bit suspicious. 
I don't know. Colleen makes a crystal clear point in this apology to clearly state how many years ago these things happened, showing that this was just me being young and stupid, regardless of the fact that she was a fully grown adult who was over 30 years old when a lot of this shit happened. A video has resurfaced of my sister and I from 14 years ago. People were saying, how dare I talk about racism when I said these things 14 years ago? It's a video that I filmed 12 years ago and shocked that those things were coming out of my mouth 12 years ago. Say, well, I knew better when I was that age or 14 years ago, I knew right from wrong. I'm so glad that you did. Now, this is a lot to throw at you at once. I know it's a little bit confusing and I won't dive too deep into every single controversy from years ago, but the inappropriate relationship that she mentions with a fan of hers is one facet of the story that becomes very, very interesting. Colleen in this apology starts explaining this weird story about how she would send fans like random shit in the mail, like clothes she doesn't need, uh, a bunch of trinkets and knickknacks maybe. And it resulted in this young teenage fan receiving lingerie from Colleen. The biggest issue that came from his video is that I sent a child underwear and Wow, anyone who heard this out of context and was offended, I completely understand. Please explain to me the context because this is some, I mean, if you can describe away the context of like giving a child, a 13 year old, your underwear, you could probably defend Donald Trump because he's got a court case coming up and he's dead to rights. You know what I mean? I really want to know how you can contextualize this circumstance, okay? If she can get out of this, that's some Saul Goodman shit, dude. She can get out of anything. Because I would be too. Now, being a YouTuber is great, right? I'm walking down the street every day. A paparazzi's taking pictures of me. People are stopping me. Oh, I can't breathe. I'm such a big fan. I can't breathe. Love it. Of course. It's the best. You should not be regularly developing friendships with fans of yours. Especially if you're a grown adult. And especially if these... The kid begged it for years, they said, Lamau. Nope. Nope, that's not good. That's not, see, see now, I said contextualize this in a way that makes you seem normal. That's still, still not normal, okay? That's still abnormal. Do you understand? It was actually the same guy from earlier that she sent the underwear to, but he was even younger. Nope, still not normal anyway. Like, the lie that she is claiming does not seem to make her look good, in my opinion. She didn't wear the underwear. It was a new pair, and I'm betting that's the argument she's going to use. Doesn't matter. Still weird. These kids are under 18. This fan who initially came out and told their story about Colleen three years ago is Adam McIntyre, who is now a 20-year-old YouTuber who originally made a video back in 2020 called Colleen Ballinger Stop Lying, a video that now has 1.7 million views, and it's about the weird relationship that this 13-year-old fan had with Colleen and how before things Okay, see, this makes sense. Kid was kidnapped and needed her underwear to escape. That's a good one. Okay, that's contextually maybe somewhat appropriate. The, the, the kidnappers were like, we are adults and we need Colleen Ballinger's underwear and then we'll release this kid. Saved. Okay, there you go. You did it. I don't think that's what happened, though. I, and I don't think that's what she said. <laughs> but that would be the one-off instance where that makes sense, where, like, you did a good thing by sending a child your underwear. It was literally bleeding out. She used the underwear to stop bleeding. Nope, not normal. Could use any other clothing, any other article of clothing. Go ahead. Tell me it was, she was only in her underwear. Make it even weirder, okay? Can't do it. got bad he was actually hired to do work helping her with her channel and not only was he never paid for it but he also has a lot of evidence showing that colleen treated him in a way that a youtuber shouldn't treat a child someone who was in middle school at the time and even worse than that colleen has a history of questionable messages that were sent to him and other fans when they were very underaged. And this video from Adam is seemingly the main reason why Colleen ended up making her apology video. Adam's video right now has 64,000 likes and 39,000 dislikes. Um, and Colleen's apology video looks a lot better than that. After her apology came out, fans were so accepting of the way that Colleen handled it that they went to Adam's video and did everything they could to suppress it so it wouldn't have 
a bad effect on Colleen's career. At the time, there were accusations of Colleen being in group chats and text messages with her young fans, where she'd talk to them about inappropriate shit that should never be sent to a fan, especially one that's 13 years old, which was the age of Adam when they began having this weird relationship with Colleen. Bro, this is literally what, like, Republicans think gay people are doing. Like, this is what Republicans think, like, teachers are doing. Okay? Meanwhile, it's just, like, 2010-era YouTubers that were doing that. Okay? And they're straight, by the way. Just, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dog, this is what Republicans are doing. True. Also true. Yeah. Oh yeah, who was a 31-year-old woman at the time. A 31-year-old woman in a group chat with uh, people who are teenagers. Now I know there's so many extra details of the gross stuff she did, but I do want to get to the present day because it keeps going, of course. That's why I'm here today. In between 2020 and this past week, the subreddit that calls Colleen out for all these things, r slash Colleen Ballinger Snark, a very fun subreddit to be a part of, um, it grew to a pretty massive size of over 30,000 people. So sweaty. Excuse my hair. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. People were constantly posting about the way she would exploit and record her children for views and the way she interacted with fans before that apology that happened in 2020. Now, recently, Adam McIntyre came back to do a full uncensored deep dive on Colleen and the relationship he's had with her. This is a story that's still developing every single day, but Adam is posting basically every day with hours of content, refusing to let Colleen sweep all of this under the rug once again. As you see, Adam is definitely taking an approach here to really get all that there is to know about Colleen out there to actually have her held accountable for her actions. And I think that's great. I definitely recommend his channel. It'll be linked below if you want to dive in even further to how uncomfortable this entire thing is. But luckily, Adam's videos are being received in a much different light than they were three years ago when they originally told this story. But I want to park there for a second because three days ago, the story got even bigger when a publication made a post about this controversy on Instagram, and now millions of people are being exposed to this bizarre story. As Impact touches on here, Colleen, who is 36, has a lot of fans who are now in their adulthood, and they're speaking out about the ways that her and her best friend Corey DeSoto, who is also 36, uh, use their platform to reportedly groom children online. Now, a lot of these situations happen in group chats that Colleen was a part of with fans who were around 12 to 17 years old. She allegedly used the group chats to form close relationships with these kids and make them feel special. She talked and vented about her marriage, her sex life, her trauma, and she even asked these minors about their favorite sex position and their virginity. Of course, that's gross. Keep that away from me, please. There are ex-fans. Everything I found out about this drama has led me into thinking three things. One, is this illegal? Two, if it's not illegal, why isn't it illegal? And three, how do we avoid the top of the hour ad break? Because at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. Which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. That... <laughs> By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. Use it on your favorite broadcaster. Hopefully, that's me. Uh, you can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Um, that segue should be illegal, if you know what I'm saying. That was fucking... Sheesh, you can get gifted a sub from 34 MKD 50 with another 50. Hassan's new pharmacist, thank you for the three gifted or six gifted total my new pharmacist is making so much money off of my uh balding medication prescription that uh he's he's gifting back in the chat you know what i mean popping off Anyway, uh, here's the three-minute ad break now. No, but, like, the first two things I said is actually valid. Like, one, is this illegal or isn't this illegal, rather? And two, if it's not, why isn't it illegal? And uh, third, I guess, would be how do we make it illegal? 
Hassan's HRT dealer. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. We're coming out with screenshots of these group chats that they were in with Colleen. One of these was um, someone who was 15 years old at the time who came out and talked about the way that Colleen um, treated them when they were I younger. Pee. And even included posts from Colleen Again. back then that were also unacceptable for a grown woman to be posting about at the time. Here's another. There is. It feels like there are. It's easier to find colleen ballinger's posts that are acceptable than unacceptable you know what i mean it's like it's like in the rare moments was she ever acceptable it's like it, it seems like everything she has done has been unacceptable and most likely illegal i would hope in a perfect society it would be illegal um why why is she i i need to piss but i can't like leave the broadcast you know what i mean it's like I meant like, not like needle in a haystack. I mean, like it's easier to count in one finger the times that she has been acceptable than not. That's what I meant. Okay, I got an overview of what happened with Adam when they were 15. Colleen asked them for pictures, mailed them lingerie, exploited them for years of unpaid child labor. As you can see, there's a really uncomfortable screenshot here of a group chat called Colleenies Weenies with uh, presumably a bunch of underage children uh, where Adam at age 14, I think, says, my ass looks so good today, y'all. And 31-year-old Colleen saying, pics adam and more of these group texts are constantly coming out with adam posting a lot of them on his twitter which will also be linked below um there is a dm here that colleen sent to these kids saying tell me all the thoughts you had when you first got your periods please and thank you um example i thought i shit myself because the blood was so dark in my underwear that's normal. That's good. That's cool. There are people who are still defending Colleen who replied to this tweet right here and said, of course, period is offensive to Adam, a completely normal bodily function. 115 likes right there. You know, it's OK if you as a YouTuber go talk to a bunch of kids who are in middle school and high school and talk to them about sex positions and periods. So especially at this point in the story, I know everything has kind of exploded. We're going every which way, but Adam isn't the only one talking about this anymore. Fans of Colleen have had the courage to speak up about their stories as a result of everything going on. Here's a fan who said, I'm finally brave enough to share my experiences. I uh, supported Colleen and her family from the age of 13 to 18, and I was in group chats with Colleen and also messaged her privately on Twitter. I logged back into my old account to find so much of what was said absolutely inappropriate of her to say to minors a whole lot of trauma dumping in the group chat to me and so much more at the time i was a child and also blindsided because she noticed me the fact i look back now and feel sad that i never saw her manipulating me or saying inappropriate things etc and texts even coming out from colleen's brother trent who has been on her channel before who talked to minors saying stuff like don't share a conversation with anyone anything we talked about stays between you and me i'm told not to talk to people under 18 you don't look bisexual okay 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 what the fuck dude it got worse i mean how does it just when you think, like, we're 13 minutes in, there's no way this is going to get worse. Then you add the fucking brother onto the pile, and all of a sudden... What's next? Like, did she murder one of the kids? Because I feel like that's it. That's like, you can't elevate it further. Go back, look at the dude's pick. Oh! And on her channel before who talked to minors saying stuff like yeah i feel like fat phobia does not even meet like the top 10 here am i crazy like even fucking racist videos from 10 years ago don't even meet the top 10 that doesn't mean that those things are acceptable it's just like there's so much more unacceptable shit it's like canceling charles manson for being ableist you know what i mean
wow, really? You just don't see fat people as human. You just don't even see fat people as human? Yeah, no, that's that's what I meant here. No, man. I think it's weirder that she's trying to fuck fat children, okay? That's weirder than making fun of them for being fat, okay? That's my thing. I don't know. I feel like my perspective on the matter is that. I think that that's weird. <laughs> that person was kidding, okay? That person was joking. I saw, she asked for a kid's pictures on a, uh, of his butt in the group chat. I saw, I saw, I'm, I'm listening. Like, don't share a conversation with anyone. Anything we talk about stays between you and me. I'm told not to talk to people under 18. You don't look bisexual. How old are you? 13. All of which, of course, again, goes deeper. There are always more messages. There's always more shit to come out. But as a baseline thing these conversations going longer than one or two messages with people who are fans of yours who are obviously not of age is inappropriate it's wrong it's weird you shouldn't ever have that part of your brain that wants to do that and yeah by the way this is true uh as long as she didn't violate the non-aggression principle i feel like she's the perfect libertarian youtuber underage relationships child labor finally truly a libertarian influencer as long as she doesn't violate the nap okay and by nap, I don't mean nap time, which is something that Colleen Ballinger's victims were subjected to in an otherwise unjustifiable hierarchy. Okay? <laughs> Not only that, but someone like Colleen, who has such a big business around her YouTube channel, who has so much going on, you'd think that she'd have enough shit to do where she wouldn't have the time to, to creep on young kids. She wouldn't have the energy or, uh, I guess, urge to like go out there and form these weird relationships. It's hard to do that when you have this job. I'm so busy all the time, I don't even respond to the people who are my friends. Why would I wanna start making friends with people who watch me and don't, don't, don't even know anything about me? So as you've already heard, um, Colleen isn't the only person involved in this story. One of her best friends, Corey DeSoto, who is the same age as her, is also under fire for the way he interacted with fans during this time. There's actually a voice memo that Corey sent to a group chat of these fans that has a lot of people cringing over the way that he's handling accusations of grooming with kids. Hey everyone, it's Corey. I just wanted to record a voice memo because... I have, like, a lot to say, um, but first of all, I just want to say that, like, I love all of you, like, you all honestly mean so much to me. Oh, my God. Um, oh, my you God. You have no idea. I know that it sounds weird because I'm a full-grown adult and some of you are younger. Oh, my God. And blah, blah, blah. Oh, but, my God. Um, like, I honestly think of all of you, like, as my best friends. Like, I don't have friends. Oh, and God. And I'm a loner and I'm a loser. Like, my only friend is Colleen. Oh, my God. And, like, I... It's so comforting to, like, go online and talk to you guys and and feel, like, loved and cared about because I love and care about all of you. Um, and I trust you. At that point, you have enough money for therapy, okay? That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, trauma dumping on children instead of fucking going to a therapist, a professional therapist? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, don't say go out and touch grass, bro, because there's children around, okay? He's touching the, the grass of the fucking kindergarten. No, do not touch grass. Do not touch any grass. Get in the car and immediately go to a therapist, okay? No grass in sight. No, do not be outdoors unless you are only going to your court-mandated therapy session. What the fuck? You and, like, I, like, with all my friends, I vent to you and when I'm angry and I feel better and I feel comforted by you hey why don't you have a group chat looks like a good idea for content creators to have one <laughs> yeah exactly no i should definitely do that that's what i'm thinking some chatter told me hassan doesn't want to cover this eat shit chatter yeah because i didn't know what the fuck this was about and i thought it was some like random youtuber drama not like actual illegal activities and like widespread grooming conducted by a youtuber that got a fucking netflix show hoscord exists yeah if you've seen my interactions in hoscord 
uh, you know it's far from whatever the fuck this is, okay? It's me mostly yelling at motherfuckers in there for being weird as fuck. Actually, Hoscore is a great example because, like, there is a reason. There is part of the reason why I don't, like, you know, uh, develop deep connections with people uh, in my community is for this reason. Like, I don't want to... And plus, most of those people are significantly older than fucking Colleen Ballinger fans. But regardless, like... You made fun of a chatter's boyfriend's fit when they bought her some Legos at Target. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that was on the stream. That's different. Like, I want a place... I want a place for people that are uh, fans of mine to go and like uh, feel safe. Um, a place where like if you're trans, if you're gay, you know what I mean? If, you, if you're looking for like-minded individuals, I want you to be in a space. But I also don't want to be in that fucking space all that much because that's your space. You know what I mean? That's it. That's part of the reason why I don't fucking touch uh, Hoscord. Even though sometimes, God, I, I really want to nuke it. You know what I mean? I, I try to keep a healthy relationship with my fan base for this reason. Uh, I already ran the top of the hour ad break. So. You missed that. You all, and I hope that I can do the same for you, but like this whole thing with... Krista is has just escalated into something really bad. Oh my god. Now, six days ago, Corey actually fully deleted his Twitter after all of this stuff started coming out. And since then, things have only got worse. And even though Colleen just performed a live event this past weekend, her and her team refused to say anything about what's going on at the shows or online. <laughs> Wait, what is it? <laughs> You called me a bad person earlier when I baited you. Healthy. What did you say? <laughs> that was a good ass bait, you fucking piece of shit. Perform on the 20th. Oh, wrong video. All right. Because the shows are just filled with a bunch of little kids. They don't know any better. They're just dumb. There's nothing going on in their heads. Now, in the past few days, Adam has made a video about Cody Tyler, who is a fan of Colleen's, that originally was a big reason why Adam was suppressed talking about their story in 2020. Now, Cody is coming out three years later and is confirming a lot of these things that Adam was talking about in 2020. Now, this whole Cody Tyler part of the controversy is a, another part you can look into. Adam's channel and the subreddit are both great for looking at all of the stuff happening and Austin is the closest thing you have to having some sort of relationship with a fan lol true <laughs> but I mean that doesn't count because like we uh, we we met each other because we were peers <laughs> I'm a fan after, so it's different. Keeping up with the updates on it, so both of those will be linked below as well. I'm sure more and more content will come out in the coming weeks, so if we want to talk about this more and revisit this disaster of a situation, we can do that. And the more stories that come out, like the ones with Colleen, the more we have to understand our roles in the consumer creator ecosystem. It can be easy to understand that YouTube is this wild, wild west with no rules and anything can really happen and we're still learning. But as just an adult who is providing entertainment to a group of people, we have to understand that not only is that relationship in that power dynamic between a creator and their fans uh, inappropriate, but just as a general rule in everyday life, an adult human being should not be privately talking to teenagers on a group chat. And that itself, I don't find hard to uh, understand at all. I think that's a very clear rule. I can see how someone with the ego of a YouTube creator would want to have access to fans who can directly validate them and make them feel good about themselves. It's like you're a rock star and you got a bunch of groupies following you around, but instead of playing music on stage, you're like dressing up in lipstick and funny clothes and then in your free time, you go and you talk to a bunch of children, actual children. And I'm sure that this isn't even that rare of a case. There are probably a lot of creators out there who have 
inappropriate interactions with their fans online or in real life. Especially now more than ever, people feel connected to creators because there's people like me who talk straight into a camera as if I'm talking to a friend about something that's going on in the internet. And that's going to make people feel more connected to a figure than back then when people were just into actors and other famous people people who did things. I mean, I can say right now that with what I do on YouTube, I do attract an audience that sometimes can feel a little closer to a content creator than they should. I experienced that firsthand when I went on tour and saw the difference that, you know, YouTube commentary fans treat a creator compared to a musician or an actor. Parasocial relations- Or the Hasanabi broadcast where fans uh, develop an antagonistic relationship with a content creator and become indistinguishable virtually from fucking haters and uh, regularly get me canceled. Uh, fuck you guys, okay? Why can't we find a healthy middle, a healthy middle, a healthy middle? You know what I mean? If I ever see you in public, I'm going to remember this. I mean, I'll be super nice, obviously. I'm always nice. Relationships are very easy to create when you're watching someone who seems like they're not put through all of these layers of, uh, of like, authenticity or whatever, you know? It makes people feel like they can be more comfortable with you, and they don't feel like there is as much of a power structure when there always still is. People who have an audience like I do, or really any YouTubers on the platform, need to take the responsibility of keeping their fans safe. And a lot of times, not only do they fail to do that, but they actually are the ones that are making their fans unsafe. It is my responsibility as a content creator to make that boundary and make it crystal clear for people who watch me. And sometimes that isn't as clear when you're in real life and someone comes up to you and they don't know exactly what to say. I have been in a lot of awkward situations where people do treat me as if they're my friend and talk to me as if I owe them something at all. And that's not to say that I don't enjoy talking to fans. Did you say Colleen is iconic? Yeah, iconically a pedophile, it seems. <sighs> Worst place to mention this, by the way. We're just like quite literally fucking watching her groom fans and shit. But having this job definitely attracts a lot of people who are more comfortable than they should be uh, talking to someone that they watch online. And this is like a topic that is very nuanced and hard to like wrap words around, especially as I'm improving it towards the camera. But I do think that this situation in particular is a big wake up call for creators and viewers of creators to understand where they are in that ecosystem. Of course, as consumers of content, it is a fan's responsibility to be respectful. Okay, so now that we watched all this, let's take a look at what her apology video was like because goddamn, from what I understand, it is one of the worst, uh, if not the absolute worst. Now, in the past, we've reviewed a lot of apology videos. One of them uh, famously was that TikTok lady, uh, the TikTok girl, rather. Uh, who had uh, potentially sexually assaulted her, uh, her, her partner or another TikTok creator while he was sleeping. And his, uh, her apology was basically like this uh, dance video, right? Like she, had, she was dancing. She did like interpretive dance. And I thought like probably one of the worst of all time, right? It's a, it's a goaded classic. Yeah, Sienna May, right? Was it Sienna May? Yeah. I mean, actually up there, in the hall of fame of like really horrible apologies. Now, um, this is one of the worst things I've seen from YouTubers. And there's a long list of YouTubers that have done horrible things, you know? So I I'm assuming this is going to be a, a, a decent apology, a somber one. I, I suspect. Okay. Starts off silent. No, it's not going to be a somber one. She busted out the ukulele. Okay. So I was wrong. Um, there is no way that this, uh, 10 minute video, 10 minutes of ukulele time, no shot, no fucking shot. Probably. I assume she's going to put it down. She's going to put the ukulele down, put the ukulele down. Hey, it's been a while. 
while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train. You're chugging down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station. Toxic gossip train. Time you to the... Do y'all have any idea what I'm watching right now? No. Bro. Bro, buckle oh, in. Oh, I heard about this today. Yeah, yeah. All right. I don't understand what she, what she did wrong. Oh, dude. Uh, like, I just watched a 25-minute video. I watched a 25-minute video dedicated to her criminal misconduct revolving children. Let me set the stage for you. Here, pull up. All right, get in here, dude. You guys came in at the right time, okay? Coming fresh off the heels of a new YouTube video that you, yeah. you're... Boys are shooting. So, okay. So this is Colleen Ballinger. She's one of the like YouTube OGs. Okay. Yep. Yep. Turns out for years and years and years, uh, Colleen Ballinger was uh, doing something that is incredibly inappropriate. Uh, grooming fans in a group chat with fans, making her fans do fucking free labor for her, their social media account, things of that nature. Right. Oh the full Monty. Her brother may or may not be a literal pedophile, including talking about... She was, like, talking about sex with her clearly very underage fans, like 13-year-olds and shit. Uh, her her brother uh, also uh, was doing similar things and even, like, asking uh, fans for photos. You know, just basic stuff. She sent one of the 13-year-olds her underwear. She did, personally. Yeah, but apparently her apology was that she he was begging for it, the fan. <laughs> <laughs> like, the your honor, the he was asking... The 13-year-old started it. Yeah. yeah. The, <laughs> your honor, the 13-year-old was asking for it, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Wait, or is he finding fans just like, she, hey, like, I'm basically, this girl's She basically... He wasn't... That was a lie, she said. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I know. I'm explaining that, like, her reasoning was idiotic and also untrue but regardless um he's toured with her brother before um he's not like uh, personally famous but just basically utilizing her fame for more access um That's insane. anyway so all of this unfolds over the past over the course of the past week and yeah. this is her apology video which has 329,000 views in four hours and 25,000 likes oh so it's a good apology. Yeah, people it's like definitely it. people like it. No dislike, so I can't Sick. tell if people dislike it or not. Thank you, YouTube. Um, she would also expose underage fans at her live shows. She was doing crazy shit. Uh, like she would have her fans come up and tour with her, and then like she would like open up their legs and stuff. Uh, one time, I think she asked a fan to put their hands down her pants or something. That's what they were saying. Um, so that's insane, and she. It's crazy because she doesn't seem like no like seeing her stuff. You're like, I, I kind of don't believe it. I'm like, but why? You're a big Colleen Ballinger fan? No, it's just I don't know. Well, I I believe it. You believe it? Seeing her stuff, I 100 percent believe it. As soon as someone, don't forget fat phobia. Fuck, I forgot. Uh, her worst crime was fat phobia. Oh, really? Obviously, what did she do? Uh, I don't know. I think she like made light of an eating disorder or something. I don't fucking know. Anyway, um, so. We're not going to go over the video again, uh, you know, going through all of her uh, numerous things. I just basically gave you, like, the short and sweet of it, okay? We'll believe you. Uh, there are videos of her putting a kid's hand in her pants. Yeah. So. How was she not exposed before that? If yeah, this, if yeah, this yeah. had happened, who, who thought, hmm, I wonder what's happening let's, here? Let's wait for the next crime. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway... Um, She's also 36 years old and her fans are like 13. So here we are. Yep. Finally, her she's addressing all of her crimes. Or I guess like I assume they should be crimes, but I don't think they're crimes. There are chat logs of her brother trying to riz a minor. Yes, we already mentioned that. All right, let's continue. Oh, her name is Miranda Sings, by the way. Like that's yeah. her character for those of you who don't know. Do yeah, you? yeah, she I've sings. seen her. 
Yeah. Oh, you're you are a fan. I'm not a yeah, fan. Yeah, she's the one who puts on the lipstick and and. Oh my god! Stuff. You're like what, <laughs> Colleen? How could you do this? <laughs> my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> you came Australia's in hot, dude. YouTuber. You came in hot. You're like what? All of those conversations we had. When I was a 15 year old, you were talking to me. I wonder why she stopped stopped chatting. You're like, why didn't you send me your underwear? (laughs) I asked a lot. I'm just, yeah. I asked for your underwear. Uh, yeah, that's the oh shock. That's the shock on my face. Yeah, <laughs> that's why he's pissed. He's like, why didn't I get that? That's fucked up. No. We, is that what yeah, everyone's saying? No, no, no. 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 They no. get mad at that. They're like, we don't speak. I said banana, and he's like, we don't say that. We say banana. We, we, banana. we don't say that. We say banana. Banana. It's different. banana. <laughs> banana. All right. No. <laughs> what? She made a kid touch it down under. <laughs> Ah, she busted out the ukulele. This is her apology. Hey, it's been a while since I saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Hmm. Doesn't matter if it's true though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Oh. Right? A jam. Guys having fun. No, no. All aboard the toxic gossip train. Chugging down the tracks of misinformation. Yo, you give your homie the aux cord, and this is what he puts on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh this is, she's not bad at singing. You're, you're, she's you're great, great singer. Okay, you're, yeah, you're out and about in town. Okay, you guys are getting a little drunk. Yeah. Okay, and you're, you're. Uh, in the Uber, you ask for the aux cord, and your homie puts this on. What do you do? I think I'd sing along. <laughs> I'd, like, I would, I I'd, would immediately, I'd be jealous that I didn't know all the lyrics. <laughs> I'd be like, what has he done? Why is he... Oh, yeah, why, what is he apologizing what for? What is he apologizing for? <laughs> okay, well, you're going to find out. Toxic gossip train. You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station. Toxic gossip train. Time me to the tracks and harass me for my past. Cause rumors look like facts. If you don't mind the gaps, I won't survive in the crash. But hey, at least you're having fun. Uh, hi, everyone. I've been wanting to come online Bro. and talk to you. Last this time someone was outed as a pedophile, they came out as gay. Kevin Spacey, <laughs> <Yeah>. classic. <laughs> I've never seen this one done before. No. This is a new. This is a new low and. You know me, I'm fucking brain broken. I do appreciate like creative ways yeah. of trying to deflect away from but like I, crime. But I think she's shooting all the other pedophiles in the foot because now the next person has to do something even better. Yeah. And yeah. it's just, it's going to get They hard. have to do a full blown Broadway. Like yeah. Bri- yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian Singer, <laughs> full blown Broadway show. <laughs> okay. But, and then, then that would get famous as well. And you then yeah. make money off it. And then they'll yeah. tour. People well, are going to be doing that. Well, this is like, do your so, apology again. This Come is on. probably monetizable. Yeah. You know, um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, <sighs> I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So here I am, and um, today I only want to talk about the facts. So that's a good way to. That's a good medium. Yep, ukulele facts. It's just kind of annoying. Though. Many years ago. I used to message my fans, uh, but not a creep. Uh, that's over. That's yeah. it's done. It, it's done. You you the ukulele, the fucking the the admission. It's over. <laughs> it's over. That's ten ten. That you can't start I off used your to message my fans. <laughs> yeah, you can't ukulele your way out of this, lady. What the fuck? But the ukulele makes it worse. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at ukulele. I'm like, that's something a pedophile has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? why <laughs> Why'd you learn how to play that? To yeah. seduce children? Yeah. Why'd you learn such a tiny instrument? Yeah, like, exactly. That before you? Yeah, if she came out with a cello, I'd be like, oh, okay, not yeah. a pedophile. No. Interested in adults. Yeah, exactly. Adults only. But a tiny child instrument. Yeah, you can't play a full size guitar. It has to play yeah. a child's guitar. Yeah. Creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest, it was more of a loser kind of way. I was just trying to be besties with everybody. It's kind of like. Uh, no! No, you're 36 years old. No. No, that's not normal. There's no planet on that. There's no planet in which you saying you were trying to be besties with these fucking 13-year-olds is normal. That's creepy. That's creepy and should probably be illegal. What the fuck? 
What? What? I, I just, oh my God. You go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there. Keeps coming oh. up to you and going like, hey girl. Yeah, like the rapist aunt. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, she was like, I was trying to girl boss, you know? <laughs> Ants can be rapists too. It's not just a rapist uncle, okay? Oh, it's the tea. And you're like, um, that was me. But in group chats with my fans. It was weird. What? I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I... Oh, okay, never mind. It's okay, case lies. closed. She was only 33 when she was sharing tampon videos. That's fun. Yeah, you yeah. were sharing tampon videos with your fans. Yeah, yeah. when I was 33. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, you made a gun. I did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. worse. That's what you implied. Yeah. yeah oh uh, yeah, yeah. What do you think I was talking about? What, the fuck? <laughs> what <laughs> other <laughs> damn <laughs> opinions are you you're, sharing with your I fucking you're fans? About the there? Other you're so players. well practiced at denying these yeah. accusations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I changed my behavior and I took accountability. But that's not very interesting, is it? So let's go on the toxic is that true gossip with, train. Yeah. With pedophilia, if you're, if you're with long hate enough ago, the bro, she stick. literally said that was the old me. Yeah. Like that was thirty-three year old Colleen Ballinger, not thirty-six year old Colleen Ballinger. Okay, <laughs> y'all are being real weird right now. Okay, yeah, I groomed a little bit. Yeah, it was fucking weird. Okay, it was the wave back then. But maybe when she was thirty-three, the person she was grooming was fifteen. Now they're legal, so it's not a crime anymore. True, uh, dude. That that's, is the, the Vatican defense. Yeah, yeah. A, yeah. The Vatican should They're not underage anymore. Dude, the Vatican should hire her. <laughs> dude, imagine the musicals with him. Imagine the Pope doing the ukulele, like, you know, this is all aboard the toxic gossip yeah. train. Like, yeah. Some of our some of our priests raped minors. Like it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Well, what the fuck? All accusations, the toxic gossip train, steamroll over someone's reputation, toxic gossip train. Fuck! It's stuck in my head now. Oh my it's god, I'm gonna be singing. Bad. God damn it, I'm gonna be singing the chorus later. Fuck! What was her logic though? Like, why? Why the? It's singing? like she wants more people to watch the and learn it because I wouldn't have known about the allegations if it wasn't for this video. No, yeah. I don't oh yeah, no. This is this quite literally is the reason why I know anything about what she did yeah. because everyone was like, "Dude, you have to see this apology. It's the worst thing I've ever seen." Wow. And for weeks on end, people were like, "Dude, look at the Colin Ballinger. Your silence on the Colin Ballinger situation speaks volumes." I'm like, I don't what? know what the fuck that is. I'm trying to talk to you about the fucking dead ceiling. Like, shut up. <laughs> Uh, and and I didn't realize it was like this. I thought it was like some fucking stupid drama. Yeah. Like, you know, she was getting canceled for fat phobia or something. Okay. Oh, did you catch that? Uh, no, I hit it though. Uh, Where'd it, it looked, go? It looked like you dude, your samurai training is paying off. <laughs> yeah, dude, I know. It's not a big deal. Um, But yeah, she also has like admitted to a lot of the accusations in, in the song, mm, yeah. in, in sing song voice. So... It's really odd that, uh, you know, she's just basically a son apology video for 9-11 remarks on ukulele <laughs> when, okay, dude. Yeah, come on. Alexis got a gu guitar. Oh, upstairs. yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make it. <laughs> Only if you sing in Serbian, like Serbian folk songs. Perfect. I'll learn, I'll learn Serbian. There, there are already Serbian folk songs about 9-11, but they're, they're pretty, they're pretty <laughs> anti-American. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would suspect. <laughs> I, well, I do, you've listened to Thank You USA. No. no. Oh, wait, maybe. Thank you, that? USA. You are my best friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are the peacekeeper. <laughs> you are the legend. Oh, that's Albanian? Or is that the one? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. are my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, let's continue. Hop on board, but close your eyes. Otherwise, you'll realize that the train is made of lies. And that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die. If rappers can get convicted for their lyrics, she better as well. True. <laughs> uh, she's a white woman. Probably not going to happen. Let's be real. Hi, but hey, at least you're having fun. Well, she's putting it back on us. I'm, I'm not having fun. Seriousness, I'm not having fun. I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. 
this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes. It's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to take accountability. But that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. That's kind of the the Wait, this is crazy. Like, the, the, bro, they're not yelling at you because you did like blackface 14 years ago, which would be like cringe and, and weird and, and gross if you did that. But like, that's not what this is about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's some fucking. You were sending like underwear to your 13 year old fans. Like, what the fuck do you mean? Well, if she actually asked a fan, a kid to put their hands inside her pants. She yeah, just be in prison. <laughs> that's what like, I'm saying. That's just not. A, that's not. No, a normal that's that's like art. that's what pisses yeah, me off about this. Is like on, why? Besties, and you've asked me to do that. Yeah, but it, I guess we're the same age. This is yeah. It, it's like very fucked up. Uh, that that was uh, you know, very fucked up. That that's what's happening here. That like she's. I love it's like just people who despise her. It's like anyone has any reason to hate her outside of the very legitimate accusations. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. What like, the you guys fuck? Just hate me, and you want to see me burn. She had to sit down with a pen and paper and write this and practice this law. Yeah, True. She, <laughs> she practiced it pretty well, to be fair. Yeah, she is like singing well. 10 minutes straight. You do have to. Yeah, you're the, you're the guy who's like, I, I can't stop. I have to rate her music. Like Anthony <laughs> Fantano. And it's giving light six. Okay. It's sorry. Comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that all of you are perfect, so please criticize me. Bro, she's like, who amongst us hasn't <laughs> fucking had group chats with 13-year-old fans? Like, what do you mean? Thing. Were you like, ask them if they're virgins or what their favorite sex <laughs> positions are when they're 33 years old and the the fan base is like 12? That's, I mean, come on, guys. Like, what the who fuck? Hasn't done that? Yeah, normal behavior. That's crazy. Why is she? Fuck. What the fuck? We're four minutes in only. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little like song. Like I know you wanted me to say she, that I. Uh, that, that's called growth. <laughs> that's growth. Yeah, she exactly. Didn't she didn't ass. say ass. She said back. Mm, very good. I was 100% in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. Hey, Wait, everybody, the I found someone new to harass. She did some trying things to get that... Clout? What's up? Are the 13-year-olds trying to get clout? Who's yeah, getting... they're trying to get clouted up. Oh, yeah. yeah that's Yo, that, that shit goes Yo, wild. I got assaulted. Dude, yeah. that shit... Dude, accusations, like credible accusations of pedophilia go wild in the Roblox forums, okay? Yeah. You don't understand, dude. <laughs> All the other 13-year-olds are like, damn, I wasn't sexually assaulted. That's fucking bullshit. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I was not groomed, dog. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I do not like in her past, so everybody gather around because we're about to attack, but not based on facts. Oh, no. Your loaded lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys. You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen. So shoot me down quick, pick a click, and bam. My reputation. I personally know? find Miranda Sings as a character just so irritating. Fingers, try of you. With this footage on Now, since you are my summer bay. I was curious, would you like to go on a date with me right now on stage? I would absolutely love to. Love <laughs> to. Oh, that's the most British kid, dude. Yo, I know that's not the point, but I would love to. I would love to. I would call him Ballinger. <laughs> I'd love to. Oh my God, we're making fun of a kid. Yeah. We're making fun of a kid who was like, you know, <laughs> groomed into groomed doing... Yeah. <laughs> Sexual assault. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you started it. Oh, uh, dude, if Jeffrey Epstein had a ukulele, he would have not had to been assassinated by the fucking federal no. government. That's what I'm saying. Like, all he needed to do was fucking bust out the ukulele and be like, listen, everybody says I'm sex trafficking minors, but <laughs> hop on board of the toxic train, dude. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Like, see? <laughs> I, um, I 
I have loved this woman forever. <laughs> I did everything I could to get to this show. So the best place to go when you're at camp. Dude, British nine-year-olds sound like old retirees. <laughs> yeah. He sounds like a fucking pensioner, dude. Yeah. I <laughs> that's, love you. That's a defense for her. She's like, She's I thought like, it was an old man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I spent my fucking pension on this. I'm on the dole, lad. I'm dreaming about you my whole life. How old is he? Like eight or nine? What is this? <laughs> You don't have <laughs> memories, dude. <laughs> like, Since I got object permanence, <laughs> I've first. been thinking about Colleen Ballinger. <laughs> down the life of a 13 year old Brexit geezer. <laughs> to go on a date is deep and dark into the woods where no one can see you or hear you. So, oh, look, we're already here. Look at that, James. He's all right. Wait, there. she's already doing here. it like she's grooming right. him. Yeah, this is very she's weird. She's grooming him as a joke. Why are they simulating That's a great like, bit. child sexual assault? What the fuck? And his parents are in the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Uh, That's my kid up there. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> the we're fuck? We already did it. The next thing we have to do <gasps> is we have to talk about what to do on the date to have some Just chemistry. So one good way to have Ask a good time dad. on the date is to share a snack together. Now listen up. There are lots of bears in the woods who will eat your snacks. So you have to learn how to hide them. So I'm going to teach you how. So stay right there, James, okay? No, no, no. We've got some cheese balls here, and we have to hide them from the bears, okay? <laughs> to hide our snack from the bears, we have to hide it in our clothes. So for example. There we go. That was be like the best place to hide it because there's no way you can fit that in your pocket, literally. <laughs> so now watch this. We're on the date, James. It's really romantic. Oh, we're getting clothes and personal. Oh, but I'm so hungry, James. Hold on, I got a snack. <laughs> Do you want a cheese ball? Um, I'd love them. I can't believe I'm reaching this in there. Is so <laughs> She can only get away with this in England. Yeah. What Pe the? Pedophile Island. <laughs> oh, the they're all tourists. Like <laughs> Why is this a sketch, bro? Why are these, dude? Is dude. there so many opportunities to pull back as well? It's like just such a bizarre thing to watch. But it just shows like you a, when you're like an authority person, you're there and, and in front of everyone. So everyone else must be like, this is all right, right? This is fine. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is comedy. Dude, I mean, <laughs> yeah. It really puts Prince Andrew into perspective. Yeah, he's just yeah, like when you see, guy yeah, when you see this. <laughs> when you see this, you're like, oh, he was, you know, he's doing normal stuff. Yeah. Just a bit of non -sure. That was delicious. <laughs> Not too much, but it was enjoyable for my life. <laughs> so once you've shared a snack from my pants, you've had a little giggle together and you compose yourself, your date can decide if you've had enough chemistry if he wants to give you a little kiss or not. I would. I, I would be honored. <laughs> oh. okay. I love you. I like James, I love you too. I can't explain it like. And how old are you? Nine. Okay. <laughs> so oh. I feel like, I'm sorry, James. You're going to have to wait until you're a little bit older, but give him a round of applause. Everybody. Just a little bit, like not that much yeah, older. Like maybe like two, when you're 12, yeah. 12, 13, you know, then you can get in the group chat. <laughs> so yeah, that's what. That's fucked, but how does this, this is the only person calling her out a year ago? Like I didn't. Yeah, that's, that's like. such an insane thing to have public and no one talk about. I mean, that was like, she, she put that out there. Like she put that out there as a, as a video, as a, as a. In her live broadcast, like her, the kid's parents were there. I can guarantee every time my kid goes to a colony. Okay, stop, stop, chat. They weren't there when you were making the joke earlier. They're not gonna get it. What's the joke? Invitations to sing. Long time. <laughs> uh, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda sings. You know the one. Yeah, her. No. Uh, she's PG thirteen. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app. Anyway, um. Oh, okay. I'm old enough to do. Dude, yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes so much sense. Oh, it's PG-13. Got it. So that's 13 and up. Yeah. No, 13 and up. 
Yeah, but the kid was nine, wasn't he? Okay, well, that's why she said a couple of years, like, uh, yeah, catch me outside. Yeah, yeah. You know uh, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, which is also illegal, by the way. Even in Japan. <laughs> even in Japan, <laughs> that's recently. illegal. Okay? <laughs> Think about that for a second. Even in the... I guess, like, the older uh, law in Japan, at the federal level, it wasn't technically, but... Yeah. I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. I've always relied on parents to decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. Now. Your kids are going to get... You gotta work yeah. as a couple of that. So wait, wait, I don't get it. Like, what is this argument? If they're 13 years old and, like, they... You can groom them? Like, why, why are yeah. you saying that? Their parents let them come to the show. That was her argument. That's what she yeah. said. They watched me groom him. And they Bro, didn't do anything. she's literally doing the ukulele version of it's actually ephebophilia. <laughs> like, it's not. It's technically not pedophilia. It's ephebophilia, okay? Like, they're over the age of 13. Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that there are some fans who feel betrayed? Yes. Was my intention to manipulate? No. It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Let me tell you, it's not very fun. Wait, 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 what? Yes. Am I sad that there are some fans who feel betrayed? Yes. Was my intention to manipulate? No. Oh. She didn't really intend to manipulate her fans. Because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Let me tell you, it's not very fun to have millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous, disgusting, life-ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't matter that these things aren't true. Uh, everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. Because y you are where, because you did. Yeah. That's where the, this came from. Like it didn't materialize out of nowhere. <laughs> Someone said this isn't singing. <laughs> yeah. Being upset, not at the contents of the ukulele song, but instead at the fact that she's not singing anymore. <laughs> she kind of gave up. Honestly, it is fucked up. You're right. But what's insane about this whole situation is not many people had heard about it until now, and now everyone knows about it. So she yeah. brought attention to all this by playing ukulele. Yeah, she she Barbara Streisanded herself. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, which is wild. I think the bit that makes this worse is that we learned in H3 PowerPoint that she was homeschooled, so she might genuinely have not known better. Wait, they don't... I mean, you're 33 at that point. You've you've had lived experience, you know what I mean? Wait, she was homeschooled? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, they, they didn't teach us that much about pedophilia in school. I think it's just like a general yeah. socialization yeah, thing. That. Yeah, you kind of, yeah, you kind of <laughs> like learn that it's fucked up. It, like you're gonna have a class on it yeah no i think we just learned because uh, we had those creepy teachers yeah we were like yeah. they're grooming yeah, like everybody. i don't like this that guy's yeah. the one that's grooming the young girls let's stay away from him yeah oh yeah she did comedians in cars getting coffee with another man what? who was famously famously dating a 16 year old when he was like 36 <laughs> so watch out for this bump <laughs> All right, okay, 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 it's over. But also, I always thought her, her comedy is she just pretends to be... Like autistic. Autistic. That's, that's her entire comedy. No, apparently she was only homeschooled for a year, but uses that as an excuse. Oh, shit. An excuse for what? For better better feeling. Feeling. <laughs> For inappropriate relations with minors. So I just wanted to say that... Um the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer. No one's even made that accusation. Yeah, I didn't whole understand other... I shouldn't respond to fans. And I'm not a predator, even though a lot of you think so. Because five years ago, I made a fart joke. What? Which one was that? You know. That was not even... Was that one of the allegations? That's what I'm annoyed at her for, personally. Was that even like a thing? Did she say that at all? No, she just twisted it. The fart joke was the kid spreading her legs. Oh. Well, that's definitely... Yeah, that's not... 
you know, farting on dogs is always funny. So that's that's for a second. That's what I thought was going on here. That's a Hassan Ivy trope. You farting on a dog? dog? No, but I do think it's funny whenever I see like random strangers fart on dogs. Yeah, I think that's How funny. often do you Because they smell so good. They've got the best nose in the world. How yeah. is that not funny? I would fart it on our dog to get him to like <laughs> how he reacts. Yeah, okay, okay. Is that a, what type of dog? It's a, yeah, it's a. a Dachshund. Hi, doggy. Yeah. Hi. Oh, he gets so <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take that. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> what if you feel violated? If you like, but hey, dogs, away from my hi, dog. dogs Sorry, like guys. smelling shit. <laughs> hey, doggy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey doggy. Hey. Sometimes they like that. What if we go to see sometimes they video? like that. Yes, it is. What is is? Sometimes they like that. <laughs> hey, come on. That's fucking peak comedy. This is good comedy. I love <laughs> I love farting on dogs, man. It's so funny. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get back to the grooming. Yeah, what what was the segue? I don't understand. She said fart joke. Okay. Oh, that's right. And everyone knew that you loved farting on dogs. <laughs> 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 no, like I said, like that thing. That's what I loves. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I know this video won't change anyone's mind about me. I'm still thinking about the dog. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking about the fart cam that you had set up here. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 would never, I would never do it to Kaya. <laughs> okay. Fuck, dude. Okay, I gotta stop. <sighs> okay, deep breaths. I still felt it was important to come on here and defend myself a little. Intake but she didn't even do, like she didn't even do that. She basically like admitted it and it was like not a big deal. That to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity, I really really appreciate you. Thank you. For what it's worth, I never had any bad intentions. Oh, okay. Never mind. But I do feel like shit. Oh, she feels bad. Oh, yeah, shit. Fun. Not so bad that she's, you know. But also, oh, she's not addressing anything that anyone said. Or she always oh, said the fart joke. She said the fart joke. And that's this it. information, toxic gossip train. You got a one way ticket to manipulation station. Toxic Fuck. gossip train. She got me. She got me. You tied me to and harass me for my past rumors look like facts when you don't mind the gaps yeah the gaps are age gaps between you and your fucking fans like what do you mean I'm in the crash but hey I hope you had some fun But what's this now? What is this? Oh. Actually. Actually. Yeah. You know. Encore. I feel like maybe I should let you guys know something. Um, it seems like maybe you're confused about something. I don't know. Let me try to help. Um, sometimes people make a mistake. And it doesn't make them a horrible person, whoa. Sometimes people can make a mistake and they're still a good person. Crazy, I know. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you don't have to take that mistake, oh no. And twist it up and grind it and add some lies to it and pulverize it and stab it with knives and ruin a life and Oh no, sometimes people can make a mistake It doesn't mean you gotta send them hate Oh no, sometimes 
sometimes people can make a mistake and you can Okay, here's what I don't get, right? And some people in the chat are pointing this out too. Did she make a mistake? No, she didn't. Or, or are they just rumors? Yeah, well, because if they're so just rumors, then if the, they're if they're rumors, then why are you you know owning up to it as a mistake? It's weird to have like ten minutes and be so vague the entire time, like not really address a single yeah. thing. She's saying joke mis the mistake that she made. Well, that's the only thing she's mentioned. So yeah, if they're just like if they're rumors, then you shouldn't feel bad about it. You know yeah. what I mean? Because you didn't do yeah. those things, right? It's two apology songs. Oh, okay. <laughs> them know and help them to grow sometimes people make mistakes simply because they made a mistake this person had a netflix show by the way yeah yeah doing the weird shit that she was doing like because like even the parts where she's not grooming children is still like objectively odd i never understood it like i never understood what the what the yeah. appeal was like i just you know but also, she's really strangely composed throughout all of this. Doesn't like, yeah, I hate that kind of like pause to think when she's yeah. just like taking a just break. Makes them a human. Humans groom children. That's what we do. Well, they do. Yeah. But what do I, know? dude? If Harvey Weinstein came out with a fucking ukulele again, all would be fine. You know what I mean? This is what we talk about when we say rehabilitative approach to criminal justice. Just fucking rehab your image with a ukulele. Jared Fogle, where is your ukulele? In prison. That's right. That's why he's in jail. Because he didn't bust out the fucking ukulele. Time. And that's why he's in prison. He has fuck a chance. Me, right? Wait, she ended it with fuck me, right? I played the ukulele and they indicted me. <laughs> yeah, she did say fuck me, right? I just hope this whole situation leads to some broad discussion about parasocial relationships. I pray no woman ever talks inappropriate online to your kids. They have trauma from it. Their abuser writes them a song and says it was a mistake. Yeah, really? What the fuck? If God forbid it happens to them, I got to take her out real quick. <gasps> where do you need to go? Yes, right. Where do you need to go? Yeah. Oh, where do you need to go? Um, Because I don't want... Oh, dude, she's so big. She's, she's so big. She's, she's like... Up on a chair. Um, You're going to need a bigger cage soon. I know. I know. Um, so good. On, I got... She's you so, go oh, her paws are so wet. So cute. She's oh, been eating she's your paws. Been e she's been, oh God, it smells so bad. She's been, um, <laughs> oh wow. Chewing, like she's been chewing on the bull penis. Yeah, yeah. The bull penis smells awful, so she puts it on her paws and then chews it off of her paws. So it yeah, smells oh, terrible. Oh. She just got groomed too. Um, all right. Well, let me let me take uh, let me take Kai out real quick. But also, I got some videos lined up for you boys to watch uh, together with if you want to. If not, we can you know. Did you eat all the Kit Kats already? No, I haven't. You want to do the Kit Kat yeah. taste test? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's do the Kit Kat taste test. Okay, hold on. She's so beautiful. Okay. Hold on. Here's what we're going to do. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Hold on. Get off. Off. Why did I smell off. my hand? Yeah, it smells, it smells so bad. <laughs> it's the bull penis. Sit. I like jerky, though. Oh, yeah. It's Sit. almost there. Wait. Wait. Where's the... Can you give me the leash? Wait. Oh, she's so good. She's such a good Look girl. at her. Such a smelly girl. Just What's sitting there. Ew, don't touch it with your hands. Gross. Oh, you're so... I gotta get the grooming wipes on her. This fucking smells terrible. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Here, you talk to them for a minute. And then it's like a...